Well, good morning, rise and shine. God bless everyone. So glad you guys are joining me this morning for the Walking in the Spirit gathering. Uh, my name is Pastor Carlos Rivera with New Life Outreach International Church right here in beautiful Richmond, Virginia. Lynn Bell, you are here as well. <laughs> You're the first one on my screen, man. You've been rolling lately, praise God. Kim Super Cooper is right behind you, followed by Elizabeth Albano. Nanine, of course, is on the scene. Kim Super Cooper, God bless you. Uh, oh, my Mariah Lopez, Mi Mariah, I'm sorry, Mariah Lopez, now, I, this might be the first time I've seen you, God bless you, Diane Smith, Pastor Joe Wilson, God bless you, my brother, Yvonne Harrison, hallelujah, Deanna Caberson, <laughs> man, you guys are rolling in hard, of course, it won't be the same without Kay and Dre May making their way today, come on, somebody, <laughs> Adrian Mitchell, good morning, good morning. Ruth Cordova, God bless you, Ruth. So glad to have you with us today. Judy Frost, all right, Judy is with us this morning. Jasmine Hoyle, Hi. God bless you, Jasmine. Good morning, Mariah Lopez. Yes, good morning, good morning. The prayer warriors are up and about. Michael Cook, my temple maintenance brother. Hilda Bryant, you are healed in Jesus' name. We're going to declare it and believe it. Geraldine Waite Henry, God bless you. Cecilio Villanueva, God bless you as well. Yvonne Harrison, Sharon Johnson, Bo Holloway, God bless you, my brothers. You're driving down the road. Irene Welsh, man, you guys are in this thing rolling. Tammy Massey. Man, I don't know about Thursday. Y'all just kicking it. Nikki Vanko, God bless you, Nikki. It's always good to see you at church with your family. Uh, Audrey Ross has brought the sauce. Come on, Audrey. You're the one. <laughs> Marie Immacula. Bendiciones, Marie. Good to have you as well. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. Uh, yes, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, Presosa, Selena, I hope I got that right, Jennifer, God bless you, Jennifer, Zaida Preston, Zaida, man, good to have you with us this morning as well. Well, listen, I'm getting ready to get started, and uh, we'll be praying here in a moment, uh, uh, but you know, I hope and pray that you were able to tune in last night. Uh, if you weren't with us personally in the church, man, I tell you what, what a great group came out last night. Wednesday nights have really picked up. So if you're uh, not, you don't have anywhere to be, as a matter of fact, make that the place to be. Forget that. This is not as if there's anything better to be at. Listen, put make church a priority. Drop that in the chat right now. Make church a priority. That's right, just drop it in the chat, man, because I believe that we are having a manifestation of the Holy Spirit. And yesterday, man, God just moved in such a great way. This series, Look Before You Leave, has been very powerful. I've heard so many wonderful comments of not just the content, but the Holy Spirit presence that's in the house. And I got to tell you what, man, make church a priority. Do not miss. You may be missing something that you need, and God may bring it right there during the worship, uh, of course, when, when, the, when the pastor is speaking, right? And I, I got to tell you, it's been amazing. So I want to encourage you. If you did, and if you weren't with us, make sure you watch it today right here on, on Facebook Live. I was just watching it a few minutes ago, just hearing it and listening to it. And uh, we're going to get better. Also, we're going to put it, everything goes on, face, on, uh, on YouTube. So I'm going to start editing YouTube. And make it a little bit more concise. And then also, man, get ready because I'm talking to Brother Anwar today about being on his program and getting all the technical stuff out of the way so that it can be transmitted, transmitted, transmitted into over, I don't know, 75 countries, right? So I'm just super excited. Nilda Maldonado, God bless you, Nilda. Good to have you with us as well. So many new names are popping up today. I'm so glad you guys are with us as well. well praise God. Well, listen, I want to go ahead and get started this morning. And I've entitled our gathering, Words Mean Something. Words Mean Something. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray in Jesus' name that your Holy Spirit right now will just fill us afresh 
and fill us anew this morning, God, that your presence, hallelujah, would just, uh, just be in our lives, in our hearts, in our homes right now, that you may speak through your word this morning, in Jesus' name, amen. Words mean something. In Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18, God's word says this, some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. Mm, come on, somebody. That is so proud. I got I to gotta say that one more time. Proverbs 12, 18. Some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. That is so powerful. Did you know that your words mean something? That your words, the Bible says, we can speak either life or we can speak death. And when you're speaking life, it brings healing to those that are listening. See, what comes out of your mouth begins in your heart. Come on, somebody, drop that in the chat right now. What comes out of your mouth begins in your heart. See, what you say reveals what's in your heart. See, words are very powerful. Words can determine whether someone is encouraged or discouraged. See, words can, can be, bring so much healing into people's lives. Sometimes just, and I love you and I care for you, just expressing your emotions and your love towards somebody can make such a difference because so often, sometimes our words don't always line up with our actions. So we need to know that God has a plan for you and that God has a plan to use your words wherever you speak. See, God spoke and everything was created. Come on, somebody. See, drop that in the chat. God spoke and everything was created. And because we're created in the image of God, what we say creates something. It creates an atmosphere. It creates an environment where miracles can happen. If we speak faith and we speak God's word and we just believe that we know things can happen in a supernatural way. See, like I said earlier, your, your words bring life or death, so choose your words wisely today. Before you open your mouth, filter it through your heart, filter it through your Holy Spirit, filter it through your mind to make sure that what you're getting ready to say is going to bring edification to those that are listening. You see, what you say impacts those around you. And you may think that it doesn't, but let me tell you what, it does. It makes such a difference, see, because words in someone's ears can cause emotions. What you say can stir up their emotions. So people don't always remember what you say, but they always remember how you made them feel. Drop that in the chat right now. People don't always remember what you say, but they'll remember how you made them feel feel. And what you say is such an impactful thing. Listen, sometimes I just talk positive, even when I don't feel positive. Even, even when, I, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm going through some challenges, I just speak to other people, always positive, always. And you know, people think, man, are you fronting? No, 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 no. Listen, I'm not fronting it and I'm not faking it till I make it. I believe that I can speak myself into a better mood. That I can speak faith and God can use it, not just to bless somebody else, but to bless me as I speak in faith. See, let your words heal those that listen. Let your words always be a sweet aroma that, spread, that, that when you speak, man, people are just caught up and they just love to hear you talk because when you talk, God's word, when you speak in faith, when you demonstrate your love, not just in your words, but your actions, then then your words make an impact because when you walk it, you should be talking it too. Come on, somebody. When you walk it, you can talk it and that makes such a huge impact in those around you. And I believe that those words that we're talking about that are so powerful, like I said earlier, are a reflection of what's in our heart. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So I believe that we should be praying that our heart be pure before the Lord. That we are very cautious of what we allow to come into our lives because we want to have a pure heart. Amen. Drop that in the, in the chat right now. Seek purity. Seek purity. Isaiah 59 verses 1 and 2 says this. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, 
and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Oh, I don't know about you. When I read this scripture, it just sends a chill up my spine and in my heart and realize that, man, that you have an opportunity, praise God, to allow God to either hear your prayers or not. See, we need to understand that sin separates us. And our heart, the Bible says, is wicked above all things. So we need to understand that it's not you. It's sometimes our heart, because it's made of flesh and we're caught up in the flesh and we have these human emotions. Man, our human flesh is completely vile at times. It's wicked. So when you begin to feel these things of, of, of jealousy or, or envy towards somebody, or maybe you feel uh, uh, just that, that you just don't like the person because of what God is doing in their life. Listen, there's all kinds of things that get stirred up on the inside of us, but realize that that's not you. That's the heart. That's the flesh that's trying to move. So we need to seek purity of heart. So you drop this in the chat right now. Purity of heart creates clarity of vision. See, when your heart is all entangled up in all kinds of things and matters that don't pertain to you, man, it's so hard to see clearly. Drop that in the chat. Purity of heart creates clarity of vision. See, you have to understand that we are an offspring of a holy God. That's right. The Holy Spirit lives inside of us. This explains your insatiable appetite to live a holy and pure life. That's right. When you get closer to God, the closer you get to God, the closer you want to get. And it becomes this thing where you get hungry for the Lord. You're thirsty for his presence. You're looking forward to waking up in the morning and rolling out of bed and gathering with your brothers and sisters uh, right here. I'm walking in the spirit. You're, you're driven because you love the Lord and you know it makes an impact in your life. Spending time with God first thing in the morning creates the tone for the rest of your day. You see, sins happen. See, we're not exempt. We're all going to fall short. The Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That part we cannot change. So don't try to walk in a play, in a way that's impossible. But know that God, through God, all things are possible. So when sin does happen, and it will, don't cover it up. Bring it to God. That's right. Bring it to God and seek that purity. You want to stay in a state of purity because now the Bible says that those that are pure in heart shall see God. Oh, come on, somebody. Listen, repent quickly when you do fall short and you will, just like I will, just like all of us will. Remember that repentance opens the door to our next season. Mm, drop that in the chat right now. Repentance opens the door to our next season. That is so important because sometimes people are stuck where they are. They're stuck in the same place and they don't realize that they may have sin in their lives that is not that has not been repented of. Sin that is just lit, festering in their lives and then they wonder why they feel stuck, why they feel like they're not moving. See, it's them holding themselves back. But sometimes and all the time, when you turn away from your sin, when you come to God and say, God, I don't want to do this anymore. Give me the strength. Forgive me of my sin. Hallelujah. And give me the strength not to do it. I surrender to you. The moment you do that, God gives you the power and the strength to walk away. And then you're able to walk in victory. And your next season, come on, will unfold and God will begin to move you into greater things. And, you know, we're talking about the heart. And what happens with the heart is sometimes we don't always understand the motives behind what we do. See, that's why a lot of times we have to be able to discern even people that we talk to to make sure that their motives for what they're doing is in the right place. And we have to be careful as well. Listen, drop that in the chat right now. Manage your motives. Manage your motives. James chapter 4 verse 3 says this. And even when you ask, you don't get it because your motives are all wrong. You want only what will give you pleasure. Mm, man, what a word. I tell you what, it's so easy. All of us have to beware and check our hearts whenever we're doing something, we're connecting with somebody, because we want to make sure that our motives are pure, that our motives are holy, that we're doing it for the right reason. 
The question we have to ask is, if when this happens, is Jesus getting the glory or am I? See, drop this in the chat right now. Successful prayer seeks God's perfect plan. Mm, come on, somebody. Successful prayer seeks God's perfect plan. See, the most difficult challenge we have is to pray with the right intentions, to pray with the right motives, to not pray selfishly, okay, but pray in a way that we know glorifies God. And there's no doubt that we need to pray for ourselves. The Lord knows I need prayer every single day. But see, our seeking, our self-seeking human nature can sometimes influence our judgment. So we have to be very cautious about this sinful nature because it's always going to try to better itself and to maybe manipulate. Come on, somebody. That's it right there. Manipulate because it benefits me. Oh, come on now. See, receiving anything from God requires praying according to his will, not our own selfish desires. See, that's why we pray, Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. See, the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God, then everything else gets added on. We're constantly praying for other things to be added on, but we're not seeking God's kingdom. And then we wonder why we can't get the results that we're praying for. We need to understand, if you put God first, if you seek his kingdom first, if you serve the Lord with gladness, if you go to church, listen, going to church on a regular basis is part of it as well. Going to church, right? Fellowship, prayer, in God's word, when you seek his kingdom, and then take action. Walk and serve others. Find your place in the body of Christ. Find your place at church. Church is not just a place where we take Church is a place where we give our time, our talent, and yes, our treasure as well. So we need to understand that church is all about giving. And when you begin to give and you seek God's kingdom, because seeking God's kingdom is about giving yourself to others, when you begin to do that, I'm guaranteed, take it to the bank, you're going to be blessed. And you're going to see what God can do in your life. Listen, when you do this, God does something special and great in you and through you as well. And listen, drop this in the chat. Get out of the way so God can have his way. Get out of the way so God can have his way. See, be careful how we pray. It's not, we're not the center of the universe. Come on, somebody. The Bible says when we do something to others, God does that. For us, oh, come on, somebody. So begin to give yourself away. Manage your motives today. Understand that God is doing something great and mighty. Seek to be pure. Ask God to purify your heart. Just like the psalmist say, uh, to, to renew a right spirit in me. Oh, I love that. Search my heart, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. That is such a powerful prayer. God, make my heart pure. Because remember, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth begins to speak. And words matter. What you say matter. And it reveals what's happening in your heart as well. Amen. Praise God. Well, listen, I hope you were blessed by God's word this morning. If you were, man, just hit the share button, man. Get this word out to others that others will be blessed by the word and the power of God. Amen. Praise God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful this morning because you are such a good God and such a wonderful God. And this morning, I thank you, Father God, for all that you're doing in our lives. I thank you, Lord God, that today you are the very first thing, the very first person that we've talked to this morning. And we're so grateful for your word. We're so grateful for your presence, Father God. Just like we said earlier, not my will, but your will be done in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you for providing for every need in our lives today. That every need, everything that we need, Lord God, you will provide because you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. And Lord, I thank you even now, my God, for the cross Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you built a bridge to God through the cross that we can come to know who he is when we come to know you. So, Father, in Jesus' name, forgive us of our sin. Cleanse us of unrighteousness, O oh God. 
Make us the men and women of God you called us to be, Lord God. Every sin right now, we plead the blood of Jesus over it right now. I thank you for your forgiveness. We receive it. Now help us to forgive ourselves. And also, my God, help us to forgive others, Lord God, for their trespasses, for their iniquities, for their opposition, for the hurt they placed on us. Father, in Jesus' name, forgive them, my God. Forgive them, Lord God, that, that Lord, that we forgive them as well, that we can release Lord God, them from our hearts and walk in purity of heart today with no resentment and no bitterness towards anyone, my God. And Lord, I thank you for your protection. Surround us with your angels all day, our going, coming in and going out. Wherever we travel, just encamp your angels around our vehicles and get us safely to our destinations, oh God. And Lord, I thank you even right now, my Father. I praise you and thank you that, that we can measure our words today. That, Father God, we know that silence cannot be misinterpreted. So, Lord, if we don't have something good to say, help us not to say it at all, Lord God. To walk in purity of heart that our words, Lord God, and sometimes the lack of words are better than saying something negative and speaking death into a situation. So, Father, thank you that today we can bridle our tongues, oh God, and not say things that we don't need to say. And Father, in Jesus' name, help us to seek your purity. Help us, Father God, always to keep our, our minds and our hearts focused on things that are noble, things that are good, things that are pure, things that are holy, oh God. All day long, Father God, that we'll listen to worship music, that we'll be conscious of your presence and seek your purity, Father God, so that you can flow through us and use us to your glory and to your honor. And Lord, in Jesus' name, help, our, help us to manage our motives. Help us, Father God, to check our intentions, oh God, as we pray, as we speak, as we go throughout the day, that Lord God, that you will be glorified in everything we say and everything that we do. And Father, in Jesus' name, I just thank you right now as we pray for our prayer list. I pray for those that need salvation right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the God of salvation. Jesus, you are the name above all names. The one thing that every name, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that you are Lord. So Father, in Jesus' name, draw them in by your presence right now. We receive them into your kingdom in Jesus' name. Now, Father God, I pray for divine healing right now. Holy Spirit, you are the healer. Jesus, you are the healer. So heal right now, Father God. Heal sicknesses. Heal diseases right now. Father God, lift burdens from hearts. Let your anointing come right now and lift every burden. That that stress will be relieved right now. That that worry would not exist. You said be anxious for nothing. But in all things through prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving. That we make a request be known to you. And then the peace that surpasses all understanding would guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Lord, that is your word and that is your promise today. And I pray right now for healing of people's minds, people's hearts that have been broken. In the name of Jesus, God, begin to pour in the oil and the wine right now, Lord God, and let your divine healing take place in their lives right now in Jesus' name. And Father God, we thank you. We receive it. And I pray, Lord, for those that are bound up, Lord Father, those that have strongholds, generational strongholds, generational sin right now, that those chains will be broken in Jesus' name, that that, that, that will no longer carry into the next generation in Jesus' name. We command that spirit to be broken right now. And Father, I thank you, Lord God that our children and our grandchildren, our grandchildren's grand, grandchildren's children will be blessed. We speak that over them right now. We command every demonic spirit to be broken, to be gone right now in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you for addictions that are being broken right now. Father, for strongholds that are being broken right now, for habits destructive habits to be broken right now in Jesus' name. 
that we may walk in your power, in your grace, and in your mercy this morning. And Father God, I thank you even now, my Lord, for the freedom that we can experience, Lord God, as we walk in you. And Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for renewal of hearts, a renewal of mind. You said to not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. God, let your word renew our minds this morning, that we may walk in your power, that we can put on the mind of Christ today, Lord Father, and every choice and every decision will be covered by your wisdom. Give us wisdom right now, Father God, to make the right choices, to give the right advice. Father, give us wisdom, Father God, the wisdom that only you have, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we thank you for miracles. We thank you for the supernatural power of miracles and signs and wonders that will lead people in awe, Lord God, and that we can point to you because you are the healer. You are the miracle working God. We know that you say just believe that if we would just believe it would open the gates to miracles, Father God. So Lord, help us to believe simply like a child. Simple faith to trust your word. And Father, I thank you for breakthroughs that are happening right now, for jobs that are being gotten, for raises that are coming, for businesses that are flourishing right now. In Jesus' name, let financial breakthroughs begin to come toward my brothers and sisters today, Lord God, that they'll walk in freedom. You said that when we give, you'll give seed to the sower. Lord, so continue, Lord God, to pour your spirit out. And we thank you and praise you for your supernatural favor this morning, oh God. Hallelujah, that wherever we go, Lord God, people will love us, people will care about us, people want to help us, Father God. Let that favor just follow us throughout the day at work and even at home, that that favor will be evident to all of those around us as well. And Father God, I pray for supernatural ideas for creativeness, Lord God, for dreams, Father God, and goals to be achieved. Father, help us, oh God, to be the best that we can be, Lord Father, and dream bigger than we've ever dreamed before. So Father, take the lid off today, Lord God, that we can walk in your greatness and in your might so that you will be glorified, Father God, in Jesus' holy name. And Father, we just thank you right now for the victory, Lord God, Thank you for answering our prayers. You've inclined your ear towards us and you've heard every word. Even for those that are at home right now or watching this program as they're driving, Father God, thank you for answering their prayers as we join together in faith. And Father, we thank you and we praise you and we're always going to make sure, my God, that you get all the glory, that you get all the honor, and that you get all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise God. God bless you. Drop this in the chat right now. Thank you, Lord. Just begin to thank him for answering your prayers this morning. Praise God. Well, you know, I close every gathering with the word of God. And today's word is found in Proverbs chapter 13, verse 9, where God's word says this. The life of the godly is full of light and joy, but the light of the wicked will be snuffed out. Oh, I love that. The life of the godly is full of light and joy. I pray that you will let your light shine today. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength today. Amen. Because it's contagious. Let your joy overwhelm others as they see. They see that joy, not because of what's happening, but because we have the joy on the inside and the world didn't give it come on somebody and the world cannot take it away hallelujah well listen get ready uh, i know god is doing great things this sunday i'll be preaching and i gotta tell you folks bring somebody to church that needs a miracle bring somebody to church that needs a healing I believe we're going to have a divine service Sunday morning. So bring someone. Invite somebody to church. Invite as many people as you can. Let's pack the house out, amen, because I'm believing God for miracles, signs, and wonders. And I, get, I listen, I know that I know that I know 
that God is going to do something mighty. So make sure you tune in. If you can't be at church, watch us online. But man, get to the house of God. Praise God. Amen. Remember, we have services at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. at New Life. And of course, the 11 a.m. service is the one that's featured on our uh, uh, Facebook Live. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, thank you so much for being part of this gathering. I just pray that God will bless you all day today. Amen. I want to pray God's blessing over you right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you and I praise you for all my brothers and sisters that are listening right now. I pray that you will bless them and keep them, that you'll shine your face upon them and be gracious to them, that you'll lift up your countenance towards them and give them peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise God. Well, listen, God bless every single one of you. Thank you again for joining Walking in the Spirit this morning and being part of our Walking in the Spirit family. And for those that are here for the first time, listen, we're here every morning at 7 a.m. every weekday morning, right? We're here, so come and tune in, be part of the family. And I believe when you do that, because when you make God first in your day, that really makes him first in your life, doesn't it? Amen. So do it. Make the sacrifice, amen, in Jesus' name. And always remember that when you're walking in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh, amen. And remember to hit the share button. Let's get this out. Become a Facebook evangelist just by hitting share, amen. God bless you and have a wonderful and blessed day.